So first I have the frame, and then uh, I'm going to put a PVC pipe up here, and another one down here. And over there it's going to be, uh, I'm going to put uh, the water reservoir right over here to pump up, go across, pump down, and go back to the reservoir. So my setup is 8 feet long. Uh, the PVC pipe that they sell at the Home Depot are 10 feet long. So I'm going to cut a little to 2 feet from the right here on the left side. Okay, so as you can see, um, I'm connecting it through with these J-hooks. Um, the only thing with these J-hooks is that these... Uh, let's just focus in there first. Okay, so these nails, um, I know that they, they are, they're designed to be interior, so they will rust in one day. So I'm just going to use my own nails, which are uh, more rust resistant, uh, because it's going to be in outdoor settings. And then uh, just, uh, you can find these J-hooks on homedepot.com. Uh, they're like under $2 each. And there we go. I have my uh, PVC cut to length. Uh, eight feet. All I used, uh, I used a jigsaw, um, like this, and just to cut the pipe uh, where I need to. And then uh, now it's all hung up. And then uh, next step is I'm gonna uh, glue the PVC end caps and drill some holes on the top of the PVC for uh, to put the plants. So I have the measuring tape out, and I will drill holes every one feet on the bottom. And here it's spacing one feet, two feet, three feet, and then uh, and then afterwards I'm going to have uh, on the top I'll measure holes every eight inch uh, because the plants will have less roots on the top so they can be closer together. Um, and then I'm going to use a permanent marker and just mark it every one feet on the bottom, uh, just measuring it out um, with the permanent marker so I know where to drill the holes. Uh, it's much better to drill the holes, uh, measure measure first before you drill, uh, so they're equally spaced and on all facing up because as you drill, um, it can change the pipe orientation, so it might not be facing up anymore. And then here I am getting uh, the drill for the hole saw. And then uh, this is going to go ahead and drill into the holes. So then you can see I'm drilling the first hole here. Um, because this is pretty thick PVC pipe, uh, you can probably, I can drill about two holes, um, and then, uh, you have to clean out the hole saw. So uh, I tried to drill a third hole but it was unsuccessful so I'm cleaning out the hole saw right now. The main benefit of using the hole saw, uh, you have a perfectly round hole and then uh, it'll basically if, with your uh, plastic netting or whatever container you're using to hold the plant, it, you can completely block out any light to prevent the algae from growing. So then uh, it gets pretty jammed in there, so uh, I'm just banging against the floor just to remove uh, the PVC from uh, the hole saw interior, just to clean it out.
and now assembling it back together so I can continue on uh, drilling more holes. But uh, you, this is uh, pretty self-explanatory after the first one, uh, so I'm just going to fast forward. Uh, this is all the holes already drilled after. Uh, so I turned the pipe just uh, so the camera can see it. It's actually going to be facing up, obviously, uh, because you want I want uh, the PVC to be about three quarter filled with water, and I don't want the water spilling out. And then uh, here I have I drilled the same p the holes on the top. Uh, their top was measured out every eight inch. The bottom was measured out every one feet. And then here you'll see on the side, I drilled a little hole. It's just for the drain from the top PVC down to the bottom PVC in here. And then it's going to get pumped from the right side on the top PVC. And then it's going to come down to the pot bottom PVC on the left. And then here's a quick showing of uh, the PVC glue and the primer. The purple primer and the PVC glue. And then uh, it's a quick de demo, um, but I actually used a Union and a 4 inch end drain because it ended up being about $5 cheaper each uh, with 4 ends, so therefore it's about $20 cheaper. It saves around 100, uh, 20, 20 bucks, which is over 20% since everything costs less than $100. Uh, so just put a purple primer all around, and then uh, it basically helps soften the PVC, so basically it gives you a better seal. And you put it on both ends. After you put the purple primer on both ends, you'll want to start putting the PVC glue on both ends. Just be careful because uh, this stuff gets pretty hard to remove from your skin um, if it gets con on contact with your skin. And put glue on one side and then glue on the other side. Ideally you want to put enough glue where you can squeeze it through and then turn it a little bit because that gives you a much better seal. Uh, you can see I just pressed this in because I have no grip in here to actually move it to turn. So I just pushed it down. And then I just added a little extra PVC glue just to make sure it's sealed and not leaking. If you, uh, I only did this because it was um, it was an end cap drain and a union, um, which aren't actually designed to fit together, but it it's pretty close in um, size comparison. And then uh, then for the end, I'll show uh, how I put it together. And uh, I can put the primer on both ends, just like before. And the primer dries pretty quick, and so does the glue. So you want to do it as fast as possible. And then some PVC glue. And when you squeeze it, like I said, push it in and then do a little turn and that will ensure a much better seal so therefore you don't get any leaks. And just push it in for, hold it for a few seconds because uh, I notice with larger PVC, it tends to want to come out um, after you push it in for a little bit. So if you hold it in for about five seconds, it's enough to dry it. And this is at the other end side um, where I'm gonna have a uni seal. So the uni seal, you just push it in. After you push it in, just you'll want to. Um, the easiest thing is to put it on the floor. And since this is a half inch uni seal, I use a half inch PVC pipe. With the half inch PVC pipe, um, it's much easier. Just leave it on the floor and squeeze it in. Um, same the way I'm doing it now. So you can use a lot of pressure to just force it in through the uni seal. That will create a much tighter fit, and therefore it's waterproof tight. You can see the PVC went through, and it's went through the hole. And then uh, you should do that before you glue it, 
and it's just uh, me using a PVC cutter just to cut the half inch PVC. And then uh, afterwards you'll need some elbows. So this is the finished product. Uh, as you can see, I just put a little tomato plant that I had growing inside and in here. Uh, and it's sm three small tomato plants over there, some peppers, um, cucumbers. And the way it works is basically I have uh, this 27 gallon tote here. I have a small pump um, which is right over there. Uh, and then it's going to pump water out and it comes out from uh, it comes up and over here goes to this one comes up and goes into here from there it goes down all the way down uh, and you can see there's another PVC pipe to drain down it goes all the way across and then it comes down and back into the tote and basically recirculates uh, then also made, I added this extra piece right here with a little union here, um, not union, um, bulkhead. Um, and then basically if I want to drain this, I can just pull this down and it will, the water, uh, you can see the water line is right there. And so it's around this height. Okay, uh, so basically that's my way of easy draining without actually manually scooping out the water. Uh, and then I also have uh, it hooked up to the pump right here. And then otherwise, uh, and you can see over here. So this is the water line. If it can focus. Uh, it doesn't focus too well, but uh, you get the idea. The water line stays around this height, a little bit below the pipes. And then uh, one thing that I did notice is uh, I actually I initially planned to put another plant here, but instead I put a little PVC pipe here that basically um, it's, it's extending from this corner here. And it's basically I put a little 90 degree uh, so therefore I could adjust the height of the water inside the tube. Uh, thinking back I probably should have made another little hole right here uh, so I could make the tube right there and adjust the water line right there and I won't have to waste the space here. Uh, I just want I just cover it up just so uh, sunlight doesn't grow in and algae is gonna take over. Uh, and then um, then I, my plan is uh, I'm gonna have a climb up on these ropes and uh and then i'll make a progress update later on in the year